Hello everybody, welcome to another Red Alert 1 vs 1 quick match ladder match here. Uh, we have on the right hand side, we have Grams134, the yellow player. On the left hand side, we have uh, Eric, the blue player. Uh, looks like Eric has gone allies and Grams has gone uh, Soviet. So we're going to have a Soviet versus ally map. We might see some heavy tanks here from Grams and maybe some light or medium tanks from Eric or maybe some artillery. Who knows? Uh, so on this map here, we've got again the gems here in the middle and a lot of players will be using the base crawl technique to move their base towards the middle of the map and plop down a refinery as close to uh, the gems as they can so that the harvester doesn't have as far to go to get to these precious minerals here. So it looks like Eric is pushing out options. with a couple of infantry Ready. here, trying to get some scouting, pretty standard. Grand has Ready. been in his base currently, Training. and looks like he is harvesting the top right uh, ore. So Training. he really needs to, uh, he really needs to uh, get on the gems here, because uh, if Eric goes for the gems, he's gonna have a much better advantage. And it looks like, yes, Eric is gonna go for the gems in the top middle here. So he's gonna definitely have the income advantage and we're gonna see that here in the money if you keep keep watching this right here Eric's probably gonna have more money here so anyway it looks like uh, Graham's building a lot of rocket soldiers kind of interesting tactic not something you see all the time uh, and, but he is mixing in some rifle infantry so that is very good he's got two refineries down so he's going for an eco game not worried quite yet about the war factory while on the other hand Eric has a uh, quick war factory on one refinery and one harvester so pretty interesting here because Eric's gonna have those gems but Grams is gonna actually have two harvesters but the harvesters again only being on the uh, regular ore so we'll see how this plays out um, looks like uh, let's see what Eric's harvesters are doing here looks like okay he's splitting them up taking both gems and what is Graham's doing here? He needs to start moving these units out. He needs to start getting some scouting. He's doing a little bit right now. It's kind of late in the game. Uh, but at some point, you know, it's better than never doing it. But definitely need to get some vision on the map here. This is currently what he sees in the top right ready. corner. Uh, trying to deny the scout there from Eric. Eric sees one refinery and currently knows where Grams is at. Grams has no idea where Eric is at currently. Building. One of the most frustrating things about the game is when you don't know where your opponent is and you don't see what's coming, so it's very hard to prepare for uh, what Eric is going to be bringing here. So it looks like Eric has his first medium tank out here of his second war factory. So uh, guys, having multiple war factories um, or multiple barracks or any unit producer uh, building for that matter is going to allow him to produce tanks quicker so two war factories here he's going to be able to pump tanks a lot quicker and he's got pretty good power here he's got four power plants so he's not going to be losing power anytime soon uh, power will also make sure that you uh, produce units quickly so again like we said earlier Eric doing the base crawl here you can see how elongated the base is and of course that's because he wants to be close to the gems here uh, so he's definitely going to have the economic advantage here. We can see uh, currently a thousand, thousand dollars, or what was a thousand dollars, and Graham's currently has three dollars. So he's waiting on this ore truck to come back. Really needs to start focusing on the gems to get some more income. Looks like Eric over here is uh, currently just going to be focusing on making the medium tanks and probably going to do a push over here to Graham's base. Graham uh, definitely has some good rocket soldiers here, but needs to be doing something with these guys. Let's see what he currently has for Get scouting. He's still trying Building. to find Eric's base, so, um, you know, again, he doesn't really know what's coming here. Graham's does have the radar, though, which is a nice advantage. Uh, Eric does not have the radar, but radar is not always necessary. Um, Eric does know where Grams is uh, at here on the mini-map, so I guess the radar is not too big of a concern, but hey, look at that. Eric puts down a radar, so good for him. Both players have the uh, map vision in the top right of their screen as they play now. Uh, again, Eric is just pumping out the medium tanks. He's got the four harvesters, five harvesters. Uh, Grams currently only has two harvesters, I believe. So Graham's, uh, you know, again, just not going to be able to keep up with the mass production of Eric. Eric's looking pretty good right now. Um, 
one thing about this map, so Eric is now moving his tanks out here to the middle and protecting his harvester, so that's a very good move by Eric. Um, you definitely want to protect your harvester. A lot of times in Red Alert, your harvester has to travel great distances and go collect the uh, minerals to bring back and then you get your money that way. Uh, a lot of times that leaves them vulnerable, so it's a good thing he's got his tanks out here denying any kind of uh, pressure on the harvesters. But that is one good tactic that you can do is instead of uh, charging you know, forward into someone's base, which could potentially have tons and tons of Tesla coils, you know, focus down the harvesters, kill the eco, it's not always about attacking the units head on uh, and something here that Eric likes to do he's got a Tanya of all things he's got a Tanya here in the APC and he's going to be looking to go ahead and take that over here to Graham's base and do some serious damage um, so the APC is going to allow Tanya to move a lot quicker uh, the ABC, you know, will move quicker than Tanya, so he's going to probably try to sneak this in, maybe around the back. And Tanya, uh, basically, one hit, one kill. Once you click on a building, that thing's gone. So if she can get in there and he can unload that without losing her, then uh, he'll do. He'll be doing a lot of damage here. So let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead and follow this APC, and you can see the wonderful pathing for this game. Uh, that was something that was definitely in the original version, and they kept, um, which you know. Hey, nostalgia all the way, right? Um, so here we go. So he's pushing out with his APC with Tanya. Uh, very similar to uh, Tiberian Dawn. So currently a lot of players in Tiberian Dawn have engineers that they put in APCs to capture buildings. Uh, and that's probably going to be patched. Uh, I know the developers are thinking about how to fix that. So anyway, interesting play here though by Eric. And currently it's just kind of chilling here in the top right hand corner. Wonder what he's, wonder what he's doing. Um, he needs to get that down into Graham's base and start doing some damage. Let's check out and see what Graham's is doing here. He's got units spread out pretty nicely here. So if that Tanya does come out, it could get sniped. You know, with all these units, pretty easily. Uh, let's see if Eric decides to move forward with it. So he just took out the infantry over here that was, uh, I guess, scouting the ore field. But he needs to move forward with that Tanya. I don't know if he's a little hesitant. He's got quite a bit of units. Let's see what his vision looks like here. I guess he sees some tanks, so he's not really sure exactly what Graham yes, has. Maybe that's the Reporting. hesitation. Um, let's see what happens, though. Eric with a lot of tanks here in the middle of the field, just kind of taking it easy, playing it safe. And the APC is still sitting here in the top right hand corner. Grams has a uh, airfield here with a plane. Um, not quite sure how much he can see of Eric's base. Let's take a look. He can see the construction, construction yard, so he could be using Unit this ready. to start uh, taking Building. shots at Unit the ready. construction yard, trying to do a little damage. And here we go, Unit Tanya lost. coming in in the APC, Unit doing lost. a lot of damage to the base. And it's not looking too good for Unit them. Unit it's taking off the radar. It's very difficult to kill Tanya. Um, if you have a pillbox or a bunch of units, um, you could probably take her down, but the tanks just can't do enough to take the Tanya down quick enough. And Tanya gets in there and takes all the buildings out almost. So now Graham's not looking too good, and Eric's going to be pushing in with these medium tanks here. And uh, I hate to say it, but it looks like it's going to be a GG situation. It's just a matter of time, unfortunately, yes, for Graham. It's a valiant effort. Tanya is just too strong. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like uh, Eric's gonna come in here and take the base out and clean it all up here. He's got, he's got one more building here, he needs to take out the airfield, and there it goes. So it looks like Eric is gonna be taking this game GG to both players, and great job, Eric, for. Uh, uh, I would say probably a unique tactic. I, I played against Eric on the ladder and he did this against me and it's, it's very effective for sure. Uh, so congrats to both players, congrats to Eric, and hope you guys are enjoying the cast. Let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, I'll see you guys next time.